What up, world? I'm Steve, founder and CEO of CryptoCrewUniversity.com, home of the number one crypto classes. If you want to take this complex world of crypto, make it super simple so that you have more success, this channel is for you. Hit that subscribe button right now. Hit that thumbs up button and join the movement. Crypto and Bitcoin are in a critical, critical place. We've had a few months of consolidation and a lot of people are waiting for a big move down and some other people are waiting for a big move up. But there's a mysterious Bitcoin pattern that is saying we're about to blast off to 20K. In today's video, we're going to go over what that pattern is and what you need to be ready for. Welcome in, everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Happy Wednesday to you and everyone else around the world. I hope you're having a beautiful day. I hope you have a smile on your face. I hope you're looking fresh, and I hope you're ready for an exciting, powerful new video. Hit that thumbs up button if you haven't done so already, and let's jump into what topics we're going to be covering because it is going to be a jam-packed video. Not only are we going to cover this mysterious pattern, which, by the way, is really going to blow your mind. I cannot wait to show you this pattern. It's quite fascinating. We're also going to cover the most critical charts to watch right now as we speak. On top of that, we've gotten recommendations to cover these topics from Twitter. You can follow us on Twitter at CryptoCrewU. We, we did a poll, and the results are in. So we're going to cover altcoin season today in this video as well. And top of that, Ethereum and XRP. Steve's secrets to success today is going to be an incredible tip for you for trading. I'm going to give it to you for free. And you're probably going to make a lot more money using this tip. It's going to make a lot more sense in your mind as well. And shout out to the notification squad. Let me see some comments right now from the notification squad. If you're watching this video hot off the press, let me know in the comments right now. So we know that Bitcoin has gone parabolic, right? From our bottoming, especially around the 4,000 area. And we went on a rocket ship and we kept saying, this is not sustainable. The only thing to make it healthy would be several months of consolidation. We said this repeatedly, week after week after week, and here we are. We're in month three of consolidation. This is exactly what the doctor ordered, and we are on the right side of the fence and a couple steps ahead. Blessed and fortunate to call out that gravestone doji candle. We called out the absolute top of that rally as well as the two failed rallies. So we're in good position. But let's take a look at the talk of the town right now. The talk of the town is ETH, we're going to take a look at ETH BTC, and we're also going to take a look at XRP BTC. These two are the talk of the town, and they have been on a very healthy run. And I guarantee over the past two or three days, you have been thinking about FOMOing in to these two coins and you have been really stressed out watching the prices rise and rise and rise and you're feeling FOMO and you're feeling like you're missing out. But what if you never had to feel that again? What if you can put aside that stress, put aside that emotion, put aside that fear and just make winning trades, just like my students did. Following my customized strategy, we would have bought ETH BTC right down here. And as we speak, we would be up over 31%. And if you're an XRP fan, we would have bought XRP BTC following my simple step-by-step -step strategy, you would have purchased here. And as we speak, up over 30%. No more stress. No more anxiety, no more FOMO, a dominating strategy. And by the way, I'm going to point out, you may be saying, well, Steve, this was the absolute bottoming candle in ETH BTC. Does your strategy guarantee I'm going to buy every single bottoming candle and sell every single top? Absolutely, 100%. No, no. It's not humanly possible. It's not even robotically possible. There's no computer program in the world that can do it either. So if you meet somebody or hear somebody stating that, they are lying to you. So no, we're not going to do that. But this strategy, I tell it to you straight. 
I tell it to you like it is, this strategy dominates crypto. Hands down, no questions asked, and that's a fact. So you'd be up over 30% in Ethereum, up over 30% in XRP following this simple step-by-step -step strategy. We didn't time the absolute bottom here in XRP BTC. Pretty close, but no matter what, we're up over 30%. So that's what I want to help you. I want to help you earn back that hard earned money that you lost in crypto. And by the way, if you're an XRP fan, we're going to jump into XRP, really dive deep in next week's video. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. But again, I want to help you earn back that hard earned money that you lost in crypto. And here's how to do it. If you are very new to crypto, you're gonna sign up to the Diamond Combo. Diamond will be the first link right down in the description. By the way, we have a massive end of summer sale that is just about to finish. So don't let this opportunity pass you by. This is your golden opportunity. The Diamond Combo, first link right down in the description. If you've been in crypto for just a few months, you will love the Diamond Combo. Save 800 with um, with PayPal or credit card. And if you sign up with Bitcoin or Ethereum, save an extra $500, massive savings. Don't, listen, don't let this opportunity pass you by. You're gonna sign up to the gold combo if you've been in crypto around one to two years. It's our top seller by far. You will absolutely love the gold combo. Look right down in the description. It will be the second link to the gold combo. Right down in the description, the link for inside the video or go to Crypto Crew university.com sign up with paypal or credit card save a massive 500 dollars again this sale is just about to finish so take full advantage save 500 there and if you sign up with bitcoin or ethereum save an extra 500 dollars cryptocreuniversity.com if you have any further questions email me right now info at CryptoCrewUniversity.com, info at CryptoCrewUniversity.com. The biggest question is, Steve, which classes are best for me in my situation? Let me know your situation. I'll get you set up at the classes. That'll be an absolute game changer so you don't miss out on these massive trades with XRP and ETH. All right, what I want to show you first is something to add in to your toolkit right? This is something that you can use in any time frame, on any chart, with any coin, with the stock market, with crypto, with anything that has a chart. This simple tool will help you understand the strength of the trend and key levels of support and key levels of resistance. It's something I showed my students in a bonus class many months ago. So simply put, we have three green trend lines at the top showing strength. We have a yellow trend line in the middle showing neutral, and we have a three red showing weakness, right? So what we do, simply put, and you can use this on any time frame, what I want you to do is find a bottom, okay? You can use this on the five minute chart, you can use it on the four hour chart, on the one month chart, it doesn't matter, it can be used anywhere, but it's very powerful. So what you do is you start at the base, right? You start at your bottoming, and you're gonna draw trend lines through key levels of support and key levels of resistance. And you're gonna go down and continue doing this. And what it tells you is it gives you a distinct picture of the move and will give us a lot of information as to what the chart is telling us. For example, when we started out, we went parabolic. This was not sustainable. This was not sustainable. It was really straight up movement. And then we moved into our zone here and we came down and formed our bottom channel, right? If we zoom in here, you can see that we held critical support and resistance through here. And then we broke up and we held in this channel for an extended period of time holding key levels of support and resistance. And then we had another breakup holding key levels of resistance through this channel and key levels of support as well. And then we had another breakup to this channel holding key levels of resistance, key levels of support, key level of resistance, key level of support, key level of resistance. And you can see how powerful it is so that we can dictate a story. 
Again, this is something that you can use in any time frame. I always want to give you these new tips and tricks for you to see the charts more clearly, gain some confidence, and I'm giving you this information for free that you can use the rest of your life. So you can see what we're in now and how powerful this is, is that we held some resistance, we held some support, and we came down, and guess what? If we look left, we know that this line right here, this trend line was pretty critical with critical resistance and critical support. And right now, it's our resistance. Same with this bottom channel, this part of the bottom channel here. If we go back and we look left, we say, okay, this was critical resistance for an extended period of time. Resistance turns into support, which it's acting on now. So this would be the channel to keep your eye on, right? If we give you some dates so that you can go back and draw this right now on your favorite place to draw charts, we're looking at the August 31st area and September 15th, holding critical support. And then if we go back in time, we're looking at the May 6th area as that resistance, critical resistance. Same with the April 23rd and heading back into April 3rd. So you can see that this channel is the one to watch. If we break below it, we know that this is the neutral channel and we know what levels to watch. So everything is very distinct and very clear as you continue in your crypto journey. This is something to put into your back pocket so that you can use anytime you wish. Now, what I want to show you is the monthly chart, right? We're looking at this monthly candle right here. And make no mistake, as we speak, it's a bullish engulfing monthly candle, which is very, very, very critical. Again, it hasn't closed yet. We're not through the month yet. It hasn't closed yet, but we're going to watch this like a hawk. And by the way, today is Wednesday, so... No surprise, Bitcoin's price is hanging out right at about $10,000 as it has. And we make all of our videos on Wednesday over the past six, eight weeks, six, eight videos. Every single video ends up being right at about 10K, which is quite fascinating. So again, if you want to take this complex world of crypto, make it super simple so that you have more success, this channel is for you. Hit that subscribe button, everybody. Hit that thumbs up button. I really appreciate you. But we'll follow up as we proceed through the month and watch where this monthly candle closes. Because again, we were calling for October to be that big momentum shift and to start our rally upwards. We'll see if that holds true. One thing I want to really, really stress is this 21 weekly moving average that we've been talking about for probably a year and a half. This is really, really critical. And I hear a lot of talk in the crypto world and I've gotten a lot of messages and a lot of emails and DMs and Steve, I'm waiting to buy crypto. I'm waiting to buy Bitcoin when it, I believe it's gonna crash down to 8K and then really shoot off to the moon. What I will tell you is just the evidence in the chart says that that idea is a little bit crazy and it's just not reality. The reason being is we've never, in a bull market, we've never broken the 21 weekly moving average. I don't mean never in the past couple months or the past two or three years. I mean, we've never broken that in the past nine years. So it would be very unrealistic and a little bit crazy to think that we're gonna break down to 8K and then have an explosion. And I know that they're saying it on the TV with the CNBC, but you know, they're, they're to put it nicely, they're a bunch of idiots on there. Uh, they have no idea about anything with technical analysis. So just, just pay attention to the 21 weekly moving average. Simply put in a bull market, we hold it as support In a bear market. We hold it as resistance in nine years history. We've never broken it in a bull market. If we do break it, it's a really bad sign. We'll go a lot lower than 8K. So I just want to put that out there, but that's what we're watching as we speak. So pay close, close attention to that. Now, Bitcoin's pattern. This is really going to be fascinating, and I'm always trying to show you some different angles of the chart, something fresh, something new, something vibrant, and something that's not really discussed. And here 
is another example. We're going to look at specific patterns that have been playing out for the history of Bitcoin. And it starts with the Fibonacci back in 2011, 2012. Pay close attention because this is absolutely fascinating. Here's the pattern. Simply put, we had a high, we had a low, and we're watching the golden ratio, right? We're watching the golden ratio. The golden ratio, if you're not aware, is the 0.38, the 0.5, and the 618. This is the golden ratio, and particularly, we're going to be paying close attention to the 618. This is my favorite, favorite level. It's a level in crypto that's really played with quite a bit in every single altcoin, in, in Bitcoin, in all time frames. It's very, very apparent on all charts. The 618 is critical. So we've got our high, we have our low, and we're watching for when we went to the 618. And more than likely, it's resistance. So we knew where our low was. We come over here to the 618 and we held critical resistance. What happens next is quite fascinating. So we know that our high, we know our low, we know we battled up to the top of the golden ratio, the 618. But what happens next? Number one, resistance, right? Always we're going to be held with resistance at the 618. Next that happens is an explosion to tie our all-time high. Now, it's not just any explosion. If we dig a little bit deeper, there's a distinct pattern to this. So we know that our high, we know our low, we know we get to the 618, we know it becomes resistance, and then we know that there's an explosion to the all-time high. We know that that explosion to the all-time high is the absolute next major move, but it doesn't stop there. And this is a number I want you to really pay attention to as we proceed through the video. Look at the percentage rise. So we got to the 618, we held critical resistance in the next major move to 20K, and it brought us around 50%. Okay, just keep that number in mind, put it in your back pocket, we're gonna revisit this, right? But that explosion from the 618 was about 50% that next major move to tie our all-time high. You can see our all-time high. Back in the day, we were talking about $33.36, the glory days. So that all-time high was met with resistance. That is a distinct pattern that played out for two years, and we're gonna revisit it in future years. And let me tell you, this is going to be fascinating. So as we continue to progress, we're going to take a look at uh, Ethereum. We're going to dive a little bit deeper into Ethereum. Remember, if you're an XRP fan, next week's video, we're going to dive really deep into XRP. So make sure you hit that subscribe button right now and join the movement. And we're also going to take a look at altcoin season. And on top of all of that, we're going to revisit this and take a look at what happened in 2014, 2015. And then what's happening in present day how does this shape up for present day because this is going to be really really powerful pattern but first we need to revisit a review on our website from sergio sergio may be a lot like you so pay close attention sergio quote i had been in crypto for over nine months and i was just buying and holding but i was losing my money. After coming across Steve's crypto classes, I was doubtful about the courses and decided I'll give it a try. After finishing the courses, I learned a lot about investing in crypto, including a powerful strategy, how to balance my portfolio, how to use the indicators, and how to control emotion. And most importantly, I now know when to buy and sell. I already made three times the cost of the classes. I want you to be the next Sergio. And Sergio, shout out for you. Keep up the great work. But following my customized strategy, we would have bought Ethereum BTC right here. We would be up over 30% right now. Following my simple strategy, we would have bought XRP up over 30% right now. That's what I want to help you do. I want to help you earn back your hard-earned money that you lost in crypto. Here is how to sign up. And by the way, the sale is just winding down, about to finish. 
take full advantage of this. You do not want to miss out on this. You're gonna sign up to the diamond combo if you're really new to crypto. If you have been in crypto for just a few months, the diamond combo will be perfect for you. It'll be the first link. Look right down in the description, the link for you inside the video as well, or CryptoCrewUniversity.com. By the way, save a massive $800 limited time only with PayPal or credit card. And if you want to sign up with Bitcoin or Ethereum, save an extra $500. You're going to sign up to the gold combo. If you have been in crypto around one or two years, the gold combo will be perfect for you. Second link, look right down in the description. I'll link it for you inside the video as well, or go to CryptoCrewUniversity.com. Again, sign up with PayPal or credit card, $500 savings. Sign up with Bitcoin or Ethereum, extra 500. The clock is ticking. The sale is just about to finish. Do not miss this. Have any questions? Info at CryptoCrewUniversity.com. Let me know your questions. I'll get you set up with the classes that are best for you. Let's jump into Ethereum. I love me some Ethereum, and um, I want to cover it more on this channel. Let me know in the comments down below. I don't think Ethereum is as popular as, for example, XRP, um, but Ethereum is is my second favorite coin, hands down. Sometimes my first favorite coin, depending on uh, what trend we are in. So Ethereum was really blessed and fortunate that it came out around the time of the start of the bull run in 2015. And it went in this channel for many years, right? From 2015 all the way up to 2018. So for a few years, we were in this distinct channel. And then our downturn, we, we followed just one trend line. We followed it as critical resistance, and then we continued to follow it as critical support. Very, very distinct. And then we followed this distinct pattern, which we pointed out in our YouTube videos. This is an ascending triangle. Again, ascending triangle, two critical things to watch. Number one, a critical resistance that's continuously met. A critical resistance that's continuously met, and after we meet, this resistance, we form a higher low. It's that simple. So we meet the resistance again, form another higher low. Meet the resistance again, form another higher low. This is an ascending triangle. Almost always will break to the upside in a really powerful way, as it did here. Now, what's really critical? We're always looking left. You always talk to yourself when you're looking at those charts to look left. And when we look left, we know that this level... This 170-ish level in Ethereum is our critical resistance from before, from our ascending triangle. And if we look further left, we know that it's pretty critical. It's been critical for an extended period of time, dating back all the way until May 22nd, 2017. So what happens a lot of times when you're met with critical resistance, you break through, it goes on a pretty tremendous rally, and if you're patient, remember, patience will win this game. As I tell my students, if you're patient, it'll come back down, it will confirm on what used to be resistance, now as support, and then we continue. This is what happens time and time again in all time frames right? This is where we take this complex world of crypto, make it super simple so that you have more success. Hit that subscribe button right now and hit that thumbs up button. Join the movement. But this is what I'm seeing in Ethereum. Again, my students follow my customized strategy. We would have got in right here, adding to our position and it would have been a beautiful opportunity. But what we need to pay attention to in the next few months in Ethereum is this trend line. This trend line is going to be very strong resistance. Why? Because when you look left, it was really strong support. It was really strong support. Guess what? We broke that support. Past support, future resistance. We have to watch this trend line. So, for example, let's just call it, you know, in the end of October, Ethereum is going to have trouble at, at the at the best possible scenario, Ethereum will have trouble breaking its all-time all high, right? 
I just want you to watch this trend line and use this simple tactic when you're looking at charts, right? When you hold really strong support and it becomes really strong resistance, we have to pay attention. Bitcoin, same way. Remember that eight-year trend line I showed you where we got rejected twice over the past five months? That, my friends, is what we really have to pay attention to is take a step back, see the bigger picture, right? We can be really engulfed in the four-hour charts, but we're not going to be able to see the big picture and what's really going on. And then the puzzle pieces will fit together very nicely. So that's what I'm seeing in Ethereum. Ethereum is looking quite healthy after holding critical support directly where we held previous resistance. I love to see that. I love to see this bounce several weekly candles in a row. It's showing a lot of strength. And um, I got to tell you, my honest opinion, this is not financial advice. I'm not your financial advisor. Ethereum is pretty undervalued, in my opinion. You know, this doesn't mean go out and sell your house and buy all Ethereum. This is not financial advice. I'm just telling you my honest opinion based on the charts, based on the the situation in crypto, Ethereum is undervalued as we speak. Okay, total market cap. This is really critical for altcoin season. What I want you to pay attention to is we have this chart here, total market cap excluding Bitcoin. So this is all altcoins combined, and we're looking at this data through a different lens, which is very powerful to do so that you can stay on top of the game. I just want to just point out this fact for a moment. This subscribe with this button down here. This is really interesting. If you are on a desktop right now, there's going to be a little red button down here and you can actually press it inside the video and subscribe inside the video. If you're on your phone, you won't be able to see it. But if you put your phone this way, then you can subscribe. But very interesting. Let me know in the comments if you ever saw that little red button down there and if you tried to press it. It's, it's really cool. So this is altcoins. Altcoins obviously went quite parabolic. You can see this move is just extreme. And then we formed starting in January of 2018 and throughout the entire year of 2018, we held in a distinct technical bull flag. This is textbook, right? Textbook bull flag and right around January of 2019 was the start of our change of momentum and we broke out on this bull flag and we went parabolic. This was a few hundred percent rise, right? Same example of what happened to Ethereum. Look at what happened. We had a breakout. We had a critical level of resistance here. If we look left, this same level of critical resistance, guess what? was critical support. And these are monthly candles, by the way. These are not weekly candles like we showed you in Ethereum. So these are times by four. So if we have four months, you're talking about 16 weekly candles holding critical support or resistance at this level. And again, always look left. Always take a step back. Look at the big picture. Things become really clear. We look left and we say, okay, one, two, three months critical support. Future past support becomes future resistance. And then we broke it. And guess what? Past resistance becomes future support. So altcoins went on this massive rally up a few hundred percent. And guess what? If you're patient, patience will win this game. We came back down and we, we confirmed our support, showing a lot of strength to monthly candles in a row with the body holding critical support. Love to see that. This is showing a lot of strength. This structure of this chart showing a lot of strength. And again, the main level to watch 63 billion excluding Bitcoin. So that's this level right here. Again, take a quick look at Ethereum. Ethereum did the same thing. Critical level, breakout. If you're patient, come back down, confirm support. Same thing. Same exact thing. This is textbook. This will happen very frequently. And by the way, for the rest of your life, until you die, you will see these structures play out time and time again. But you will only see them if you take a step back. 
right? So 63 billion, that's what we have our eyes peeled to right now, showing a lot of strength for altcoins to, to really make some noise. So we'll see how this progresses and we'll continue to watch our critical indicators. Now, let's get to this pattern in more detail. We gave you a synopsis of this pattern for 2011 and 2012. Let's just revisit it. Let's make sure the pattern is clear and watch how fascinating this will become. So here are the steps, right? We're using the Fibonacci. We're looking at the golden ratio, specifically the 618, which is my favorite level. It's a level that's going to be played with time and time again in crypto, right? You have your top. You have your bottom. You have your move to the 618, right? That's this candle here in January 2013. Every time we reach the 618, expect critical resistance. That's exactly what we got right here. The next major move after we have resistance at the 618 is an explosion to tie the previous all-time high. You can see this white line here. If we backtrack this white line, you can see that's directly our all-time high here. But it's not just stopped there. This 618 level, critical resistance, and we had an explosion of exactly just about 50%. Take a look again. We're doing the 50, 52%, just over 50%. We're met with heavy resistance. We have a 50% move to tie our all-time high. That's the next major move. Let's see what happened in 2014, 2015, all right? So we had our all-time high. We have our bottom. We have a move to the 618. Guess what? The 618 acted as resistance, exactly as our previous pattern. So our high, our low, 618 resistance. Well, let's see what happened. What was the next major move? Boom, explosion to tie our all-time high. Let's see what percentage move that was. Because back then, previously, it was just about 50%. And we look here and we say, okay, it's 50% again. Same exact pattern. Our high, our low, a move to the FIB 618. Held as resistance, explosion, 50% to tie our all-time high, which, by the way, met with resistance. Again, when we get to our all-time high, we're met with resistance, just like in 2013. Let's see where we're at today. Here's today's FIB, right? We had our high. We had our low. Guess what? We just moved to the 618. Guess what? Held resistance, just like the past nine years, right? Held critical resistance. Now, what we expect is an explosion to the next level here to tie our all-time high. But let's take a look at mathematically. Does it make sense? A move from here to our all-time high, the past two times we've repeated this pattern was just about 50%. Well, how about today? Let's take a look. If we move from that 618 level up to tie our all-time high, guess what it is? 50%. It's the exact same pattern. Our high, our low, rejection from the 618, a 50% explosion to tie our all-time high, which, by the way, should be resistance. That's what we're expecting according to this pattern. We've pointed it out in a few different charts with the same type of theory. Unless we break below the 21 weekly moving average, which will propel us uh, down a lot further. But this pattern is incredibly, incredibly powerful. We've repeated it for years and years and years. And again, right now you're thinking, wow, this is Steve. Every week you show us these incredible charts that's through a different lens. Nobody's talking about these things, and it's mind-blowing. So let me know in the comments down below what you think. Make sure you put a thumbs up on this video right now. So that's what we're, we're watching, right? Each time we were met at that critical level, continued consolidation, right? We got to the 618 consolidation, next major move, tie the all-time high with consolidation. We expect the same thing to play out here. Not only do we expect to reach 20K, but when we get there, we expect there to be 
a period of consolidation. That would be very healthy, very similar to this one. Expect it to be just a little bit quicker of a consolidation than we're experiencing now. So if this one lasts for three, three and a half months, you know, expect the 20K one to be a little bit less. That's the big picture synopsis of what we're looking at right now, but very, very fascinating. I'll keep you up to date. This is where we take this complex world of crypto, make it super simple so that you have more success. Hit that subscribe button right now and hit that thumbs up button. Let's get further into the video, down to the, down to the nitty gritty where I like to get. So this is a review coming in from Reagan on our website. It says, quote, Steve, thank you very much. You saved me a lot of crazy crypto pressure. I started trading a few months ago very stressful even insomnia a lot of people are experiencing so much stress insomnia missing out with time with their family missing out time with their friends with their with their sons or daughters or husbands or wife this is critical i want to help you not only save time i want to help you get rid of that stress get rid of that insomnia get rid of looking at your phone all day if you're looking at your phone more than two times a day you don't have a strategy I want to help you get such a powerful strategy that you could be like my students investing here in Ethereum, up over 30% right now. No stress, no FOMO. Investing in XRP BTC right here, up over 30% right now. That's what I want to help you get to. I want to help you start to earn back your hard-earned money that you lost in crypto. And here's how to do it. You're going to sign up to this diamond combo. If you've been in crypto for just a few months, it will be perfect for you. It has every class that we've ever done. If you don't want to miss any of our content, you sign up to the diamond. First link right down in the description. I'll link it for you inside the video as well or go to CryptoCrewUniversity.com. Again, save a massive 800 with PayPal or credit card an extra 500 with Bitcoin or Ethereum, but this sale is just about to terminate, so do not miss out. Sign up to the gold combo. If you've been in crypto around one to two years, it will be absolutely perfect for you. What's the difference between the gold and the diamond? The diamond includes the beginner. If you feel that you can skip the beginner, you get the gold. Right? Gold will be the second link right down in the description. I'll link for you inside the video or go to CryptoCrewUniversity.com. That $500 savings, PayPal credit card, extra $500, Bitcoin, Ethereum. Email me if you have any questions, info at CryptoCrewUniversity.com. I'll be here to help you every step of the way through your crypto journey and get you on that right track. I look forward to welcoming you in. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. You will regret it whoops okay so we're gonna get into steve's secrets to success by the way twitter crypto crew you go follow there right now what i want to tell you oh first thing i want to tell you is the psychology of the bull run right when we're over here let me show you on this chart it'll be a little bit better when we're in a bull run the psychology oftentimes is on the fence, especially in this tier one. And it was making me very nervous with this type of move to start the bull run, right? And we talked about it at length on this channel, where the psychology was every human was calling for 20K, 50K, 100K, and a bull run for the next few years. And that made me really nervous. Now we're pretty much at a break even. Half the people think we're going really far bound, breaking down below, and half the people think we're going really far up. That is where I'm comfortable, where everyone else is uncomfortable, because that tells you that we're in a good spot, where we're we supposed to be. If everyone right now is calling for the moon, it would be, I would be very nervous, right? So the psychology right now is, hey, we've had this consolidation period. Why, why, why is this happening? We're probably going to break down. That's a good sign for the bulls. So the psychology of the market is really important to take a deeper dive into, especially in market cycles, which operate in years as opposed to days. So that's just a couple synopsis for you. Oh, and for my students, attention 
students, I'm thinking about making a new bonus class for you. Let me know in the comments down below. First of all, let me know if you're a student and then the idea. So it's not just some random idea. I don't know if it's from a student. Let me know the student, that you're a student and your idea for the bonus class and I'll take, uh, I'll collect some data and see what the data is telling us. Oh, and by the way, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you haven't done so already, what are you waiting for? If you're on a desktop, you can just hit this red button somewhere down there and that will get you set up with the subscribe. But again, make sure you hit that like button. And a story. I have a story for you. This is a really cool story. So I I, I flew my mom out here. It's, it, it's a really good feeling. I worked incredibly hard since I was seven years old to be able to take care of my mom and... Um, it's, it's great to have her here, spend time with my son. We were on a walk two days ago on the beach. We're walking down the beach and we're taking a look at all the scenery. It's quite beautiful. There are a lot of tropical birds and it's whale season. So the whales are literally jumping out of the water. It's really special. So we're walking down the beach and we get down into the local town where the school is. And we're walking along the beach and there was a class that one of the teachers took their students out onto the beach to do some learning. And as I'm walking by, the students stopped and they all look and they're like, hey, hey, and they're telling all their friends, look, 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 look. And they come running down the stairs. So the students that, that I gave back to the school, they don't know any English aside from hello and thank you. And they're all running. The entire class is running with huge smiles on their face, yelling, thank you, thank you, thank you. And they're, before I know it, there's 20, 25 kids all giving me a hug, surrounding me in this big circle, yelling, thank you, thank you. And you can just feel how thankful they were. Like they, it, it was so, it was a really special moment for me. It was really incredible for me. It was just like an overwhelming moment where I was like, wow, this is, this is the feeling of giving back. And I look over at my mother and she's welling up with tears. It was just a really overwhelming moment. It was a really special moment. And um, I had binoculars. They'd never seen binoculars before. So I give it to the kids. They're passing it around. They've got the binoculars backwards, upside down, sideways. They don't really know how to use it, but they were just loving it. And it was, it was a cool moment. So I just wanted to share that story with you to inspire you to give back, really, you know, I didn't go out and, and buy a Rolex. I don't really buy much for myself at all, but I try to give back always, and that's really a powerful feeling. Um, I, I've never given back to a whole school, and that was just you know one of the best things I've ever done in my whole life. And um, again, if you're in line, get that person behind you a bag of chips, buy their coffee, whatever it is, and feel that feeling. I guarantee you're going to be like, wow, this is so much better than going out and buying a watch for myself or whatever you wanted to do. So use that as inspiration. Okay, Steve's Secrets to Success today is a very powerful one. It's, it's one that I wanted to share with you a tip, a trading tip. And again, this is for free. I, I try to share as much as I possibly can for free to really excel what you're doing. And, and every single week I try to bring a new way of looking at the charts and a, and a new system and a new type of chart that you've never seen before to make you say, wow, this is so simple. I get it. I finally get it. I watch Steve's videos and I get it. And that's a powerful feeling. So let me share with you this tip because it's something that I've seen uh, time and time and time and time again, same mistake over and over and over and over again. And it's with traders that are new, like less than five years experience, m repeatedly making this mistake. And what they're doing is they're continuously trying to buy the absolute lowest bottom price. And they're waiting until it goes down to this price that they have in their mind. And they're waiting to sell when the price goes up to the highest, 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 highest point. Traders do not want to do this. This is not what you want to do. You do not want to wait to sell or wait to buy at the lowest, 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 lowest possible price. And you do not want to wait to sell at the highest, 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 highest possible price. You simply want to buy when the charts are telling you and you want to sell it for more. You simply want to buy and sell it for more. That's how you become successful. 
That's called a winning trade. If you bought it and sold it for more, that's a winning trade. If you waited to buy the absolute, how many times, think about this right now, how many times were you thinking, I'm going to wait to buy because I'm pretty sure it's going lower and it never went lower? How many times? I bet it's 10, 12, 15 times. How many times did you want to sell, but you're like, you know what? I'm not going to sell yet because I think it's going to go a lot higher and it never did. How many times? 10, 15, 20? You simply, as a trader, want to take that mindset that you've been using called the herd mindset, throw it directly in the garbage and you want to have a new mindset, a simple mindset that says, okay, what I want to do now is I want to buy something and sell it for more because that's a winning trade. If you can consistently make winning trades, you're already better than 95% of humans in crypto. That's a fact. That's what I want you to do. I want you to have a brand new, a fresh mindset. So that's a powerful tip for you to take and it's going to take some time for it to really sink in because you have a lot of bad habits. But that's one tip that I want you to, to, to maintain because it's a powerful one. I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, we're building something special together. This is really, really cool for me because when I started these YouTube videos, I didn't think anybody would want to watch them because I was very different. I dressed differently than the other folks. I spoke differently than the other folks. I covered charts that were different than the other folks. I didn't know if anybody was going to like what I'm doing, uh, but I stayed true to myself. Always stayed true to myself. I didn't take any paid ads. I wanted to do it my way, and nobody could keep it simple. Keeping it simple is a very tough, it's tough. It's a skill that, uh, you know, if you've been through through high school or college, you probably like the professor that was able to explain explain really complex scenarios and concepts, but in a simple way that you actually got it. That's a tough skill to have, and nobody was doing that in crypto, and that was my focus. Nobody was helping the average Joe, so I really focused on how can I help people because they were just getting sorry about that they were getting destroyed in crypto and I just felt terrible and what was really surprising to me is people came into crypto with no experience I didn't expect that no prior stock experience or forex or anything uh, it was just like okay let's jump into crypto and then maybe we'll be instant millionaires so those people I really wanted to help and what was really cool is I have so many traders that have 15, 20, 30 years experience that write to me and say, Steve, I love what you're doing. I've been at this for 15, 20, 30 years and you have taught me more in your classes than I learned in my all of my years in trading. It really makes sense. So that's a special feeling and that's why I'm put here on this planet is, is to help people um, really achieve their goals. So that's really been a blessing, but I'm not building this channel alone. You're you're right here with me helping every step of the way and I appreciate you. It's been it's been a hell of a journey and we have a beautiful role ahead. There's so many things that that we're going to implement going forward that are just going to change the game and uh, we're very excited about it. So I'm happy to have you with us. Oh, quick update on the blue-footed booby. If you guys watch the Twitter I rescued this bird actually on the same exact day that I gave to the school. So we had the bird for a few weeks, fed him a few times a day because he was quite sick and, uh, and, and his wing was a little bit uh, damaged and he couldn't fly. And just a few days ago, he had enough courage and strength to fly away. So he is, he's, uh, he's living large wherever he is. Um, but if you want to see the picture of the bird, go to Twitter. It's there on Twitter. But always try to give back, especially with animals and especially with dogs. Uh, I try to do that in every country I go to. So um, I'm going to continue to do that and um, I'll try to share a couple stories here and there with you. So I'll be right back here next Wednesday. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button if you haven't done so already. Share this video somewhere because you know that you learned a tremendous amount. I'll see you right back here next Wednesday. Click right here in the boxes on the screen to watch another video and let me know in the comments down below what you think. Peace and love to the crypto crew.